Well, a Korean restaurant that the health department temporarily shut down this spring because of an E. coli bacteria outbreak has closed for good. The exclusive story now from KITV Force Keoki Kerr. Keoki. And Paula, Peppa's Korean barbecue here behind me on King Street closed earlier today. That's after its owner said it never recovered from bad publicity from an E. coli outbreak here. Peppa's restaurant was empty tonight after it closed for good earlier in the day. A sign in the window told customers the restaurant closed and said, thank you for allowing us to share our culture and food with you. Owner Chong Kim told KITV4 News the Korean restaurant lost a lot of business after the E. coli outbreak in April, so it had to shut down. Tonight, we told some would-be customers the news. After the E. coli outbreak, they said their business never came back. Oh, so. poor people. They get good vegetables. Yeah. On April 1st, the state health department temporarily suspended PEPA's permit, shutting it down after four people who had eaten there were sickened with E. coli infections. Employees scrubbed down the restaurant and threw out potentially contaminated food and other items. An investigation found the restaurant's kitchen staff was mixing raw meat with vegetables, which can spread bacteria. Peppa's reopened the next day when the health department found no traces of E. coli present. Tonight, several former customers told us they never returned after the E. coli incident. After that, I didn't, I didn't come after the incident. How come? Why didn't you come back? Yeah, I guess because like, um, the, you have the feeling that you don't know, yeah. You were worried you might get sick? Yeah. Peppa's owner says a new proprietor is taking over and will open a Japanese restaurant at the former King Street location. Peppa's two other locations will remain open, including the Makiki restaurant on Wilder Avenue, which was busy on this Friday night, as well as its Manoa Marketplace store. Now, you might remember that another E. coli outbreak closed another restaurant, Sakia's Japanese restaurant in Kaimuki, back in 2008. It was closed for several weeks because of that outbreak. But unlike Peppa's, Sakia's actually owned the land underneath its restaurant. So it didn't have to keep paying rent to a landlord, even though business might have fallen off after bad publicity from their E. coli incident. Sakia's is still in business. Reporting live, Kyoki Kerr, KITV4 News.